the Galway Plate is next. And it's a two and three quarter mile grade two event for five year olds and upwards. I've had a few back from last year for this one, I would think. At the top, we've got High Admiral for Paul Rhodes, loyal ally for Leon Van Rensburg, Saticon Chips, David Robertson, The Overlord, Joshua Slaughter, Akane Byrne, Martin Needham, Artistic Rose, David Hooley, Cape Solitude, Darren Thompson, Countess Zenyatta, Paul Rhodes, Echo Bell, Alex Cherry, Maximum Mayhem, Alex Cherry, Sapphire and Steel, Martin Needham, Shooting Star for Graham Clutterbuck, and Swain Forkbeard for Leon Van Rensburg. Called it hand away then in this first race of the new season where two runners are allowed. And the majority of these are back from last season. One or two newbies in there as well. As they make their way towards the first of 14 fences they've got to take in this Galway plate. And all pulling for its head down its near side is Swain Forkbeard. That's a newcomer from the Leon Van Rensburg yard. So, had to be a decent sort. They get to the first, and they all get over the first one. Okay, with the exception of High Admiral. So High Admiral departs at the first, that's Paul Rhodes and disappointment for Paul there, but he's done alright, okay so far this week, I've won a two decent performances on the National Hunt races and I think he's back in amongst the top trainers on the National Hunt side of things now, but it's Swain Forkbeard who leads by about two lengths to Salticon Chips in the second and now Cape Solitude's moving through the main body of the field are shuffling around but the leader Swain Forkbeard is well clear although they jumped that one particularly slowly Maximum Mayhem is just about the back marker at this point for Alex Cherry but it's Swain Forkbeard into this ditch in the lead we need Sapphire and Steel now moving through into second I hope jumped there though by Salticon Chips Salicon Chips who's now gone on into second Sapphire and Steel back in third. Sapphire and Steel a multiple winner last season. Back for another go. In comes the Overlord. Cape Solitude towards the back. Maximum Mayhem is still just the back market. But it's Swain Fort we really it. Artistic Rose is second. Let's take it into the sixth. Echo Bell jumped up in a second there, but then jumped that one slowly and allowed Cape Solitude to go back up on its inside to take a share of second place. Swain Fortmead is the leader. Apologies for my voice, it's been a rather long day. We've done quite a few commentaries this week already, and it's starting to flag just a little bit. And it's Swain Fortmead in the lead. Artistic Rose second and a shooting star third as they come past the stand. Still got a circuit to go and Swain Forkbeard is clear by about three taking this eighth. Stable mate. Artistic, not a loyal ally, is now moved up on the outside into the second. But now I really tightly back the rest of the field. With the exception of Countess Zenyatta. Which is a little bit detached at the back as they come into number nine. And over that one, it was Swain Fortbeard that led by about two lengths or so to Saligon Chips, who's now clear second. Then comes Artistic Rose and the Overlord, Shooting Star is next in, Sapphire and Steel, Cape Solitude and Loyal Ally are in that group as well, as they get down to the 10th, and over that they go. With Swain Fortbeard, clear by two, to Salicon Chips and the Overlord, as they get over number 11, and they're all safely over that one. Down to number 12. Good jump there on the outside by Salik on Chips. has seen that one come through down to almost challenge for the lead. But Swain Fork being an easy lead. By length to Salik on Chips in second. The Overlord is third. And then Sapphire and Steel is fourth. The loyal ally, Arcane Burn, on the outside is next. The Grey making some round around the outside. It's Countess Zenyatta. 
quite wide on the track as they come to the second last and Swain thought it was over that one clear and over the last clear as well there's a fairly long running well, I feel it's a very long run in two and a half furlongs of running and Swain Fallbeard is in the lead by about four or five lengths being chased by the Overlord Akane Murth Salik on Jip Sapphire and Steel Cape Solitude and then a longer ally as they race into the final furlong and a half Swain Fallbeard is still clear and Swain Fallbeard looking like he's going to take the Galway plate quite cosily Racing up towards the line, Swain Fortbeard is beginning to turn on their closing on him. He needs a line to come. Swain Fortbeard is just holding on, and Swain Fortbeard is just going to win it from Sonic and Chips. So Cape Solitude was also up there as well. And Swain Fortbeard took it pretty cosily in the end, hanging on for Leon van Rensburg. So it's a win. For Swain Falkbeard, Leon van Rensburg, Cape Solitude for Darren Thompson was second. Sally Gone Chips for David Robertson was third. Loyal Ally, Leon van Rensburg was fourth. And the Overlord for Josh was fifth.